What's up everybody, Zach Blount here with Omega Real Estate and today we're doing another video jumping into a real estate related topic and today's topic is closing costs. What are they and how do they affect you when buying a home? Alright guys, so let's dive right into it. What are closing costs? Now, more often than not, when I'm sitting down with a first time home buyer discussing the process and we get to this aspect of it, they're totally unaware. They've prepared for their down payment, they might have prepared for their inspection and their appraisal fees, but when it comes to closing costs, they're kind of blindsided by it. So whether you're putting 0% down, 5%, 10%, more often than not, your closing costs are gonna be two to 3% of the purchase price of the home. Now, what they are is their upfront fees to escrow, to the title company, and to your lender, and some of them are gonna be taxes, insurance fees, county transfer fees, things of that nature are all bundled up and are called closing costs. The biggest closing cost typically is gonna be your lender fees. So first, depending on what type of loan product that you, you get, whether it's an FHA, a VA, or conventional, they have different costs associated with that and then also the lender you choose. Some will have hidden fees kind of snuck in there that you were unaware of, so it's always good to ask for a upfront closing sheet from your lender so you actually know what you're paying for. So there are ways to get the seller to help cover those closing costs. So let's say it's an eight to $12,000, depending on the uh, home price and the product you're getting, you can ask for the seller to pitch in and cover some of that or all of it, but remember, the seller's closing costs are way more than the buyer's. Typically buyers are two to 3%, where on the sell side, they're paying 30, 35,000 in closing costs because they're paying agents commissions, they're paying escrow fees as well, and title fees, and other transfer fees that you as a buyer aren't paying for. So you might be able to get them to cover it, however, it's not always guaranteed. So the safe bet is, Try to save up for your closing costs. Try to be prepared for them. Save two to 3% on top of your down payment. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching.